hello so this will be a general reading for the sign of aries take what resonates leave the rest behind do not try to force the message to fit please remember to hit that like button subscribe to the channel definitely appreciate all the love and support and i'll send it right back to you guys with that being said let's get to the message spirit of love and light <clears throat> What messages do you have for the sign of Aries? What messages do you have for the sign of Aries? So, no longer feeling confused, making a decision, making a decision about what? So you're having, you're stressed out, having, you're stressing over making a decision. So you have a lot of options. <coughs> you're overwhelmed by options. Is it you or is it someone that you have on your mind? you're waiting for communication from. This is someone you're waiting on communication from. Someone you're waiting to express their love. You guys have been stressing. <clears throat> Your overall energy is the four of cups in reverse. What messages do you have? What messages do you have? <clears throat> First time of Aries. What messages? Do you have? <coughs> I'm sorry. What messages do you have for the sign of Aries?
this is someone who yeah this is someone who turned down your offer they did they basically they didn't um This is someone who did not open up and express their love towards you. They basically turned down your offer of love. They, It's like you guys could have expressed love towards this person. You guys could have communicated to this person your emotions or try to reach out to this person. They just not, they didn't respond back. It's like waiting for things to come to the light, like waiting to see, like, will this person respond? Like waiting for things to turn around regarding the situation. Like waiting to see if they will open up and express the way that they feel. Cause you guys feel like this person does have emotions towards you. And it's like, even though it's like you guys are not like really truly like stressing over this situation, you guys do stress over this situation. Like it has been a burden. Like you guys, as far as like meaning, you guys do find yourself thinking about this situation like on a daily basis. You do. And like of all your other options, like this is the person that you want. Like you put this person on a high pedestal and you do look forward to hearing from this person. Like you do hope that this person reaches out to you and opens up and communicates their love towards you. The messages that you have for Aries. <clears throat> Can't take that. Messages and messages for okay. Messages for Aries. Messages. You have other, like, you get other. I'm getting like you listening to your intuition. The way that you're seeing is that this person is not going to open up. They're not going to give you the um, attention that you're seeking from this person. It's like you're, they're not going to get you, you, you're not going to, it's not going to end the way that you want it to. So, it's like you're tired of being stuck. It's like you've been in this stalemate position in this relationship, like hoping for this specific outcome, but it hasn't happened. So it's like, okay, you're, you're tired of being stuck in this situation. 
and this person hasn't opened up and expressed their emotions towards you. Yeah, so you're just trying to heal and move forward. <clears throat> you are healing and moving forward. Yeah, from you healing and moving forward. I, I mean, this person was just like egotistic. They just couldn't get their ego in check to open up to you. messages you definitely miss this person you definitely miss this person it's like you miss this person so much that's the thing and you're trying to like you all it's, it's like you're in the process of healing Yet you find yourself like fighting against like missing this person while you're healing from this connection because you don't, it's like you go through this period like you're over it and then it's like then you miss this person again because you're healing and it's like, okay, you're ready to be over this connection already. You're trying to find the strength to finally get over this connection, but then you get back to this point where you really miss this person. Because you reflect back and you're like, oh my God, they were such, like you put this person on this high pedestal. But it's like, you're really not looking at this person for who they truly were because they really didn't offer you nothing. It's like, you're not really looking at it for what it was. And then it's like, you put them on this high pedestal and then you want your, then you are hoping for communication from this person again. So it's like this vicious cycle. You have a lot of other people attracted to you. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, so the thing is, is that you guys go through this vicious cycle with this person. Yes, here you go again. Here you go again. I'm going to confirm. I'm going to confirm. Because 
you guys go through this vicious cycle with this person where you guys are in your head, okay? You guys have not, oh my God, Aries. I'm going to just say this. <clears throat> Has this person opened up and expressed the way that they feel towards you yet? Have they put any effort towards this relationship yet? If they have not, then this is, yeah. This is not your person. It's time to stop waiting on this relationship it's time to let it go you are in this vicious cycle Aries and I hope you guys stay tuned because I know a lot of times we don't like to hear what we don't want to hear I know you guys will rather you will rather me say that oh your past person is coming back this is your twin flame your soulmate but when I'm getting a message from spirit and uh, I'm not going to feed you guys some nonsense because I want my subscribers to be at their best. And I want whoever this message is for to be at their best. This is for someone who this is unrequited love. This person did not offer you anything. You offer this person your love you sent this person messages this person did not respond they or they sent you just like blah messages sometimes they didn't even respond back if they responded back it was just like blah and then they dodged you sometimes it was obvious they weren't interested okay but you kind of hyped the situation up And you're in your head about it. You know, you're kind of like, you put this person on like a high pedestal. Like this person is, you know, some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign. And I do see like you try to move forward from this relationship. Like you're like, I'm over this person, I'm done. And then you get to this point where it's like, you miss them, you're reminiscing about this person. And then you're hoping that they come back and you guys reunite. And then you end up marrying this person. And then you think that this is your twin flame and then you guys just separated because you guys needed to heal. And then you have lessons to learn and then they'll, they're going to communicate with you and then everything's going to work out and they're going to come back together. And then some of you guys even, it's like you guys will see um, tarot readings and then it's like instead of like discerning um, the fact that it's not your reading, you guys like squeeze like yourself into another person's reading. And, like, I'm having to, like, dodge into this because the thing is, it's like, Spirit is telling you that it's like, it's time to heal and to get through this, like, vicious cycle with this person because you've been waiting for communication. You've been waiting for things to pick up between you and this person. Okay. It's like, then you'll get to the point where it's like, okay, I'm healing, I'm moving on, you know, you're done. You tell yourself that, but then you really, truly are not. And the thing is, is that you're attractive. You're attractive. Some of you guys, it's like the real issue. <coughs> Some of you guys <coughs> have like manipulative, like women, a mother, someone in your life that has caused you to have like low self-esteem where you feel like you have to 
like constantly bend over backwards for people to get their affection, attention. But this person, it's like really look at this situation for what it is. Has this person put any effort towards this relationship? Other than, okay, you guys went on a date. Other than that date, has there been anything else? for Aries. What messages do you have for Aries? <laughs> So you have for Aries. So, you guys have moved beyond ancestral patterns, elder, in reverse. So, repeating, like some of you guys may have heard, like generational curses, that type of a sort of thing, like repeating the things that you're being called to like break that cycle and that's what i'm getting like <clears throat> some of you guys it's like some of you guys it's it's a habit of maybe the man or the women it's like have a habit of bending over backwards to you know please the people that they love. It, it's like, you know, they feel like they're not worthy of love. They were taught, you know, that they weren't. It's like a low self-esteem. And it's because they were taught that by someone is manipulation. But that person was manipulated and taught that. And that person was taught, was manipulated and taught that. You see, the thing is, you, you know, this, you have the Queen of Cups in reverse and then the King of Cups in the upright. It's like, how could you put this person on a high pedestal, but you don't see yourself worthy to truly be with this person? That's the problem. You weren't guided by the right people. That's the problem. You have wise one in the reverse and elder in the reverse. <clears throat> Let me hit. messages do you have for Aries? Let me 
just, I don't even have these in the reverse, but this flew out in the reverse. Some of you guys are thinking about changing your occupation because it's been draining you or you need, it's like you've been thinking about <coughs> changing that transformation ahead that will then family room. Yeah. Tea time. Family room. Definitely some major transformation coming. Some of y'all are not happy with your current job as well. You feel like it's draining your energy. Then on top of it, it's like when you go home, it's like you just like, it's no one there. You guys really will love to have, that's the thing, you feel lonely. It's like you're going to work, you feel depleted. You really wanna go home. It's like you want someone, it's like you're, it's like you're looking to be guided down the right path. You're, you're wanting these changes in your life. It's like, am I not on the right path? Where am I supposed to be? Because you want to go home. It's like, where's the love of my life? Why have I not found the right person yet? Why you're not happy with where you're working? You feel like it's depleting you as well. <clears throat> Some of you guys are just like, you feel like you just made the wrong decisions. I mean, like you guys look back and you're just like, I should have did this. I should have did that. If I would have done this, I would have done that. And you guys are just stressing yourself out. Keeping yourself up at night. Oh, if I do this, if I do. And you just are stressing yourself out. Then it's like, if you are doing something, then you're overdoing it. It's like, it's no in between. Because you're so, you're so anxious. You're not allowing yourself to just, oh, some of you guys need to just really just relax and accept that everything happens for a reason. I know you like, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear it. But you need to accept where you are right now. Learn from your lessons in the past in order to move forward. Find something to be grateful for today because if you don't, it's like, do you really just want to be angry? No, you don't. What messages do we have for Aries? <clears throat> messages do we have for Aries? What messages do we have for Aries? So you have focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Exactly. So are you guys, I'm, I'm just going to finish reading. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Do you guys hear that? 
Even a small amount of time des uh, devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. I'm going to leave that there. Detox your friendships, your abundance, flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. I'm going to leave it at that. This is what I have for you. <coughs> um, if this reading resonates, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you. I wish you all the best. Thank you.